Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm on the boat with my brother Fisher and we're doing something a little different today. Every year at the end of April in Boca Raton, Florida, they do something called Boca Bash and it's this giant party on the water. Everyone brings their boats, their jet skis, their paddle boards, and it's just a really big crazy party on the water. Now, along with this giant fun event is a lot of trash. In the past, I've always said that I wanted to go the day after Boca Bash and swim around and find sunglasses, money, anything that people could have lost. And then there's also probably going to be a lot of beer bottles and cans and cups and all that kind of stuff too. No idea what we're gonna find. Yesterday, there was a boat there that was throwing money off the boat and you guys collected how much money? At least 30 bucks. They collected like $30 in ones. There's been a couple of tide switches since then, so I don't think we'll probably find any money, but that would be really cool. But hopefully we can find some cool things. And clean up the ocean while we're at it. And clean up the ocean while we're at it. So let's see what we can find. I'll see you there. All right, so Fisher's dropping the anchor. I knew we weren't gonna be the only ones with this idea, but there's a lot of people swimming around with dive gear looking for stuff, so we'll see. I mean, we could find a lot, we could find not a lot, and if that's the case, then that's good because then that means that people didn't really litter a lot or people have already cleaned it up, so that's cool. And the water is crystal clear since we have an incoming tide right now, so all the water from the ocean's coming in, crystal clear. If we were here on outgoing tide, the water would be nasty from all the water that's coming out of the canals that's going out the ocean, but right now it's crystal clear, check it out. And it's only like five feet deep here. At low tide, there are some spots that come up to like two feet, so you have to kind of be careful around here sometimes. But right now, we're kind of mid-tide, so it's not that shallow. A lot of seaweed, though. Hopefully, we don't get any sea lice.
So far, in all these jewel or e-cigarettes, found a bunch of these. We found a knife. <sighs> and my sunglasses! <laughs> they definitely were lost yesterday. They look like they've just been rolling around in the sand, but they look pretty good. Ready to go back out? Yeah. So what I've learned so far is either people like Corona the most <laughs> or the people who drink Corona are more irresponsible because the thing that we found the most has been Corona bottles. <laughs> what do you think, Fish? Only like three bottles that weren't Coronas. Yeah, a couple Bud Lights. Mm -hmm. But mostly glass bottles. And also though the cans could have drifted though. That's also true. Because the currents were ripping. Woohoo! Sunglasses! <laughs>
All right, we're gonna try a different tactic now. Now I'm gonna tow Fisher, like going idle speed, and we'll see if we can come across more things doing it that way. And then we might anchor one more time and both get back in. They're fake ray bands. Let's see your sunnies. Shallower here. Huh? Yeah. You ready? Uh huh. Pants? Clothes? Uh huh. First white claw. The boat. Do you want an anchor? Yeah? You got an anchor? It's old. Fisher said he just found an anchor, but he said it's old. We'll see. Here, put the cans in first. Oh. Chain wrapped around my leg. Does it have much chain on it? No. Oh boy. I need to Just camera. throw it in a bucket. Here. Definitely old. I was, uh, trying to get the anchor, but the boat was drifting, so I grabbed on the boat. I was like, I was like. Wow, he's pulling the boat backwards. So I put it in reverse a little bit. Yeah, I felt it. I thought if I held on, the the boat pulling would have pulled it out, but then it wasn't. So I just was yanking the boat. Crazy. That's a pretty big anchor. And as long as you clean it up, like there's nothing wrong with it. It's not too old because it moves. Like a the lot. chain is crap, you know. That's nothing, yeah. but the anchor looks fine. Yeah, it might be. After I towed Fisher around for a little bit, I jumped in and he towed me for around for a little bit and I found two more pairs of sunglasses. This pair that looks 
pretty cheap but they look like they weren't lost yesterday that because they have some like barnacles on them and then these which are what do they say fisher killer, killer loops killer loops i've never heard of those i don't know if you guys have but these definitely were not lost yesterday these have been definitely in there for a few weeks there's fisher's anchor he found his knife these are the good pairs of sunglasses we got ourselves a dinosaur no idea what this thing is comment down below if you guys know what this is or if, if you know what it even says i don't know and then we ended up getting two five gallon buckets full of just beer bottles beer caps and just all those random little pieces of trash but the anchor is pretty good as long as you clean up the anchor that's a good anchor the chain's trash, no big deal, but that's a good anchor. All right, guys, well, I think we did pretty good with the stuff that we found. There were definitely areas that were completely cleared out, like the shallow areas where people probably anchored earlier today and cleared them out. But I like that there were a lot of people that did come out here and clean it up, right? Yeah, I can imagine, like, if you look out here right now, like, people have been coming and going, just jumping on with dive gear. And, yeah. I mean, we came at, like, 3.30, I can imagine people came at 8.30 in the morning right. all day yeah. and just been swimming around, picking up stuff, hopefully cleaning up the trash, not just picking up the sunglasses. And even in, there was a lot of areas that have no trash either. Like, yeah, we didn't find anything good, but there also weren't any beer bottles or anything in those areas too. So like people did come and did clean up. So that's a good thing. Maybe some people found some really good stuff today. Who knows? But I'm glad we did this. We found a lot of trash. Oh, and we found that octopus. Yep, he was real cool. That octopus was really cool. I didn't want to leave that in there, but it seemed like he had a good home. Mm -hmm. He was in the middle of nowhere. It was just straight sand around him. So we put him next to a rock and hopefully he goes out of there and goes into the rock, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> and if you guys don't know this, Fisher has his own YouTube channel. Again, this is my brother and he's on YouTube as Fisher Chris. I will have all of his links linked down below so you guys can check him out. He makes a lot of cool diving videos. Well, we had a really fun time doing this and we also cleaned up the ocean while we were doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to both me and Fisher and I will see you in the next video.